Welcome back guys. In this video tutorial, we'll be talking about anticodons. It's a very basic term, but we all need to know about anticodons. So let's begin with it. As the term suggests, anticodon is a relatable term with another term which is called codon. So before understanding anticodon, we must know what is codon. You know, codon is a three nucleotide stretch of sequence which codes for proteins, right? Because you know what happens actually if you know the central dogma of biology, what we know is that we begin with a DNA molecule, from the DNA it produces mRNA and from the mRNA we produce proteins. Now this mRNA that we are having from the DNA, so for example this is the mRNA we are having, that mRNA is having different bases coming out because mRNA is single stranded uh, structure here. Now, those bases that are coming out from the mRNA, those bases, three of those bases together are termed as codons. So they are termed as codons. Now why their terms are codons? Because these codons mean these three nucleotide stretch are specific for coding a particular amino acid, right? So there are multiple different types of codons out there right and that codon is placed in the list or chart which is called as genetic code that is called as genetic code so in the genetic code if you look at it you will find many different codons and all the different amino acids that those codons are coding for right so it's a actually it's kind of a library there so those codon means three nucleotide each of those three nucleotide is specific for coding a particular amino acid now, to interact with those codons, we need opposite three nucleotide sequence which will sit onto the codon and read that codon and bring the right amino acid. Because we know what? During the protein synthesis, we require three major molecules. One is the mRNA which will be coded into proteins. So, let me draw here with a different color. Say this is the mRNA and this is the codons that are popping out. And we also require the ribosome that is a major unit, the ribosome which is the unit for our machinery which will help in the protein synthesis. And the third thing which connects the ribosome and mRNA together is called the tRNA. So that is called the tRNA. If we look at the structure, tRNA is having a structure like this. kind of structure like this. So, it is having a structure like this with, with several different loops coming out from different regions and it has a particular site for attachment with the amino acid because the tRNA is the carrier RNA, the transfer RNA which will carry the amino acid for the particular codon it recognizes. So, the anticodon is again three nucleotide stretch sequence that is found in a specific loop present in tRNA. So, if you look at here in this tRNA, so if I draw the tRNA structure here, so forget about all these other loops that are that we are seeing here. The main thing here is the loop in the bottom. So, this is the loop. So, let me draw it slightly more differently. This is the loop. This is called anticodon loop because this loop contains three nucleotide sequence which are termed as anticodon because this is termed as anticodon and the three nucleotide sequence that are found in the mRNA are termed as codon right and we know according to the base pairing rules again codon anticodon pairing is falling to the same type of rules like the Watson Creek base pairing that means again if we have for example, say in the anticodon, if we have U, U, U as the anticodon found in the tRNA and we all know that tRNA is a, as this is an RNA, it should have a uridine instead of a thymine. So, U, 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 if it is present in the tRNA as an anticodon, the complementary of it that is the codon should have A, A, A because A pairs with U and G pairs with C that is the process again in this case that is the rule 
So again, if we have an anticodon of UUU, the codon will be AAA and the anticodon, if it is UUU, it is consigned to be attached with the amino acid phenylalanine. Similarly, if we have this anticodon as CCC, so the complementary of it, that is the codon will be GGG, right? And if we have a CCC as an anticodon, remember, it will code for glycine amino acid. So, in that case, in this position, we will have glycine. So, you, you can see the tRNA is the transfer RNA, which is responsible for bringing all the amino acids, but it, they are very much specific for a particular type of amino acid only. So, if we have anticodon UUU, it should bring phenylalanine, if it is CCC, it should bring glycine, right. So, this is how this whole process works. So, it, it tRNA will scan for the mRNA, once it recognizes the sequence AAA with the UUU anticodon. Remember, there are many different types of tRNAs present inside the cell, each assigned for a particular amino acid. So, very different types of tRNA. So, the tRNA containing different modes of, different combinations of this kind of anticodon. So, they will scan for it and the only one can sit on to the particular codon which is having the complementary sequence of that codon. For example, in this case for, for attaching with this codon or recognizing this codon, they require an UUU because the codon was AAA, right. So, that is all about codon anticodon interaction and how this interaction help us to bring the right amino acid into the place during the polypeptide production or polypeptide formation, right. So, that is it guys. If you like the video, subscribe, like this video and, and comment and all the rest.